purpose of today's flight is to see how much damage the rocket takes by coming down at 25 feet per second. The problem with using a single parachute is that you have to find a balance between damage that might occur from a high descent rate and drift. The rocket has a cross-form parachute that's 20 square feet, and when it weighs about 11 pounds after the fuel is spent, that's how fast it's going to come down. So there's where we came from, and here we are, and there's the rocket. Just have to go get it. I feel like that survivor dude on the Discovery Channel. Holy crap. <laughs> One false move out here and you're gonna. Need to really watch your step. So, so there's a rocket it's right up there, but it's super steep. It's way up there. So I'm gonna go climb and get it. And even though the parachute, it's obvious that the parachute ripped, it did come out, but it, it ripped. So it was more like a streamer than a parachute, but we'll still be able to tell what kind of damage it took and it should be able to calculate the descent rate as well. So that'll at least be some data that I was looking for. All right, so I'm gonna try to get it without breaking my neck. So obviously it did sustain quite a bit of damage and not the, uh, not the softest of landing sites, but. The static test of the L engine worked great. Um, it wasn't a traditional L engine where we would normally process all the fuel at one time and case bond it. It was two K engines put together that were cast at two separate times. And doing it this way, Theoretically, we can increase the size uh, of the engine that we do up to an N. Um, so with a two-inch PVC pipe, that's, that's quite impressive. So next time uh, we go out, we're going to try one of these L's in a, uh, in a crazy 4K450 L cluster with two-stage. It's going to be amazing. But... Um, Whatever. <laughs> I can't remember what I was going to say.